Hey ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, you're watching CHM Tech, and in this video, we're going to talk about free internet calls. But before we get started, shout out to Devil Cube Designs for making the new intro. These guys make some really cool intros, motion graphics, and logos, so if you're interested in stuff like that, you can check out their work by clicking on the links in the video description. So a few days ago, I made a call from Mostar Bosnia and Herzegovina all the way to Toronto, Canada. It was a very nice chat. I hit up an old friend that I hadn't spoken to for ages. We talked about life, our friends and family, and after about an hour or so of catching up, we promised to keep in touch and finished our chat. Now normally, if the call was made through a public switch telephone network, my phone bill for this month would have had a pain-inducing additional charge. But since it was made via Skype, utilizing the awesome power of the internet, the call was actually completely free. Today, internet voice and video calls are commonly made using apps like the already mentioned Skype, Viber, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, and others over a high-speed internet connection. Whether you're calling someone in your own neighborhood or on the other side of the planet, if you're both using the same app, the calls are typically free. How do they work? Well, it's all thanks to a technology called VoIP, which is short for Voice Over Internet Protocol. From an end user point of view, VoIP calls may seem very similar to calls you would make using a standard home landline phone, and in some aspects, they actually are. You speak into a device that converts the sound of your voice into a form of data. That data is then transmitted through a communication channel between you and the recipient. Once delivered, the data is finally converted back into information that he or she can understand. The main difference lies in the way the communication channel is established and how data is transmitted through it. In telephony that utilizes the public switch telephone network, data is transmitted using circuit switching technology, which allows communication channels to be established by connecting two network nodes. Switches within the system help form a circuit between two phones, which guarantees full channel bandwidth and stays connected for as long as the communication session lasts. On the other hand, when it comes to internet telephony that utilizes VoIP, data is grouped in packets, which are then transmitted through a packet switch network. The packets consist of a header and payload. The header contains the information needed to direct the packet to the right destination, while the payload contains data regarding the actual intended message. After traversing across multiple routers, the packets reach the recipient, where the contained data is reconstructed into the original state of the message. This way, a communication channel is occupied only when packets are being transmitted and is made available for other traffic when the transmission is complete, as opposed to circuit switching technology, which maintains the communication channel throughout the whole conversation. Thanks to the utilization of different types of codecs, VoIP is not only used for classic voice calls, it can also be used for making video calls as well as transferring different image, audio, video, and multimedia files. Listen, baby, I'm off my nut about you. I'll say you're off your nut. This is Summers. The calls we make using apps like Viber or Skype can be characterized as computer-to-computer -computer calls, which, as mentioned earlier, are typically free when communication is taking place on the same application or service. However, in different situations, they can result with charges. For example, if you're using a particular app to call a mobile or landline phone, if you've exceeded your data plan, or if you're in roaming. Besides calls from a computer to a computer, VoIP calls can also be made using analog telephone adapters that allow you to connect a standard phone to a computer with an internet connection. They can also be made using dedicated IP phones. While this kind of internet telephony has some very obvious advantages, it also has some downsides. One is the dependency on a fast and stable internet connection. In case of a connection hiccup or complete outage, making an internet call can become a challenge or completely impossible. IP phones are dependent on a stable power source, so in case of a power outage, the device will not work. Emergency calls can also be a challenge for this technology as services cannot automatically figure out where the emergency VoIP call is coming from. But with advantages like transmission efficiency and the ability to make completely free to low-cost calls, VoIP offers conveniences that very often make life much easier. Just like many other convenient technologies, we often take it for granted and don't really care to think about how it works. But needless to say, we're happy it's there. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay strong.